Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayers. A Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, stated, U.S. and Europe are directly at war with us. They are effectively engaged in hostilities with us using the Ukraine's as father. Additionally, despite President Zelensky of Ukraine delivering a speech at the United Nations General Assembly in New York, the United Kingdom and France, members of Parliament 5, were absent. There were also noticeable empty seats at the assembly. I would like to express my respect for the courageous statements and actions of various world leaders. I believe that these statements and actions can serve as a trigger for closing the door to our world war, especially in the context of the Russia-Ukraine war. May people all around the learn the teaching, recognize, the acquire solutions to avert the crisis, the clear of this tension true peace, a strong awareness are our children of Buddha. To the Lord from this Kyoto, a lecture on prayer to God, and that this El Cantale is, is the subgroup and salvation. We learn that this private prayer. Now, let's go to a lecture, called, a lecture on prayer to God. The oh Lord, please protect this in prayer to for their own benefit. The happiness of humankind. They think not only of them, that the Lord protects. Each person is to the destiny. All individuals connected to that. Therefore, it is all that your salvation, all human beings, a violent river of earthly desires and open the future for us. How can we open our future? The future can be opened by a strong awareness that you are a children of Buddha or God. A bright future will give way when Buddha's child receives Buddha's power and aims to create Buddha-land utopia. And there is a word that repeatedly appears in the prayer. It is us. This prayer is a prayer for us. In other words, it is a prayer for the public. Of course, it naturally includes me as well. In the modern age, TV and the internet shows people from various places on earth. So, when we pray, let us imagine the faces of those people and the faces of those around us. And wish together, I want to save all fellow human beings. I want all fellow human beings to be happy. Let us wish, I want to keep away 
from evil. I wish that all fellow human beings can keep away from evil. And then let us become aware of being true children of the Buddha, God, children of Alcantara, and resolve to build Buddha land utopia together, opening up the future of the earth. With these thoughts in mind, let us recite prayer to the Lord every day. Furthermore, now we are praying for the Lord's resurrection and the happiness of humanity. Through the prayer for Master Okawa's resurrection every day, we are praying for the happiness of humanity, both in the present, the future, and the past worldwide. We are also praying for the happiness of the universe. Everyone. I strongly recommend to participate to the prayer for resurrection in your respective religion. As always, in the description section of this YouTube video, I have included links to related to today's session, in particular regarding to the theme of public happiness. The Lord has taught his wisdom from various perspective in various contents. I introduced some of them in the, in the, sec in the section, uh, the art of influence, the nine dimensions, a life of triumph, the laws of hope, Please visit and check them out. Now let us let us recite happy science prayers. Lord El Cantare, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great right every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other. And there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, 
This is the land of souls. Rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is the symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your boat on boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pan in a the stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people. And you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha. And brothers and sisters, now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is here. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirits in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world Utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. The world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, Get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare. You are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord. Thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts.
Prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. My guardian and guiding spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the seed of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.